A California family is asking for your help in finding their daughter, who is missing after living in the Portland area for just a few months. Take a look. This is 28-year-old Wilma Acosta. She's about 5 feet 5 inches tall and has several tattoos, including a spiral on her elbow, an X tattoo on her right knee. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with the family who drove to Portland in an effort to find this girl. The Acosta family and their friends spent Saturday hanging up missing person flyers around Old Town near where 28-year-old Wilma Acosta was last seen nearly a week ago. Manny Luna Medell is one of her childhood friends who was in town visiting Acosta last weekend. He says they went out late Saturday and she never came home. The whole weekend we were here just going out, celebrating, and then um, that night uh, there was a game plan for her and uh, when I woke up at 7 a.m. and I saw she wasn't home, that's when I knew like something's, something's not adding up. He says he tracked her phone first thing Sunday morning and found it along the waterfront near the Japanese American Historical Plaza, but she was nowhere to be found. I started yelling at like, you know, her name and I started talking to people that were running. I'm like, hey, like, you know, my friend probably just dropped her phone. Like, do you see her? This isn't like her. Like, she's, she's communicated like she was happy. We were supposed to uh, have breakfast before we leave. They were holding out hope she'd turn up, but then she missed work, which family and coworkers say is completely unlike her. She just moved to Portland in the last couple of months for a job at Kaiser Permanente. She was very excited to move to Portland. Like this was a dream for her. She was happy to be at in this city and it's just very sad and disappointing that this is her experience and this is what happened to her. Acosta is about 5'5 five five and has black hair with several tattoos, including an X on her right knee and a deer on her left knee. She was last seen wearing a black coat and jeans. Her family is hoping more surveillance video can be turned over to police to see what happened to her that night. They ask that anyone who might have seen anything to please call Portland police. Just please, we just want her home safe. Just communicate that, communicate with the police, and we just want to have her home. Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon. This 